Round 13 of Carrera Cup GB about to get underway. 28 laps is go. Good start by Dan Kamish. Slow start by Alessandro Latif. It's Kamish that leads the way, but Stephen Jelly gets second look in the white and blue and yellow car on the way towards Cox. Tom Oliphant is third. And then it's Dino Zamparelli being chased hard by Luis Plato as the cars work their way now up towards Beckett for the first time. Second and third, side by side. Tom Oliphant round the outside of Jelly. He's off the road. He's back on again. He's up the inside line. Elbows out, Oliphant goes through, and here comes Zamparelli to try to get past Stephen Jelly as well. Can't do it. And there, up the inside, goes Eastwood against Lewis Plato. Does he go through? This is for fifth, and Charlie Eastwood does go through. Kamish down over the timing line. We wait for anybody else. 2.9 seconds later, Tom Oliphant goes through. Tom Oliphant, oh so close to losing his place, is still second, but Eastwood has caught up, and he's gone through! Up the inside, ahead of Dino Zamparelli. So Charlie Eastwood up into fourth. Suddenly, this podium finish doesn't look too out of the question. Behind them, you can see Peter Kyle Henny leading Pro-Am 2, as again, Ewan Mackay tries the outside down towards Brooklands. Tries to duck up the inside, coming out of the corner for the outside line at Luffield. He's all over the back of, and now the inside of Sean Hudspeth. Is it going to pay out for him? Yes, he comes out of Luffield through, up the inside. And Eastwood down the inside of Jelly, another one of his very late moves, which goes out wide. I think he's got the job done. He still looks like he's in total control of this as he heads towards yet another race win. He's had nine this year. Uh, Right-hander of Luffield to the inside line goes Hudspeth. Is there a gap? Almost. He's going to have a go coming through Woodgate if he can get the inside line. Is he going to be level? He's going to try, he's going to try, he's going to try, but Ewan Mackay just hangs on ahead. Here they come, over the timing line. Mackay is ahead, but he's on the wrong line for Cops, isn't he? And Sean Hudspeth, if he breaks later, will go through, and he retakes second in pro am Dan Kamich is going to win for the 10th time in the Porsche Carrera Cup Great Britain for 2016. The lights go out, which they will do now we're racing, Kamish on the inside, Jelly on the outside, down towards Cops Corner, Kamish will have the advantage, he's on the inside, he's got the lead, Jelly right on his tail as they work their way round Cops, Lloyd goes wide, Latif goes wide, but it's Kamish ahead of Jelly. And he's got pro-class driver Alessandro Latif behind him, as Sharp tries the outside of Eastwood, but he's locked up, he's gone wide, and here comes Lloyd up alongside him and he goes through. Tom Sharp loses a place, Latif's up the inside of Dan Mackay and almost into the back of Sharp, he does just touch the back of the IDL racing car, Kamish to Jelly is the top two, and the gap is 0.394 of a second, with Jelly still under attack from Dino Zamparelli in third. Baxter has a look up the inside, door left wide open, he's through, but he arrives very quickly, locks up, runs out wide, and wider, and wider, and goes from first to second, to third, to fourth, to fifth, in class, in one move. Tom Sharp, much better traction off Luffield. Has he got up the inside? There's a chink, he has managed to do it on the apex of Woodcut. He's going to have the inside for Cops, I'm sure he'll go through. Latif will look to go through as well, but Dan Lloyd closes the door and just stops him. But a really good, well-set-up move by Tom Sharp. Race win number 11 of the year and a second Porsche Carrera Cup GB title. Dan Kamish is the champion again. Second across the line, Stephen Jelly. Third is Dino Zamparelli. And Dan Kamish has done it. Back-to-back -back titles in the Porsche Carrera Cup GB. And that is a tremendous achievement.